The sport of football also gives us our second inductee. Charlie Mahalik was an old-fashioned Iron Man because of his overall toughness on the football field. He was a two-way end that started his first three years at Duquesne University and then joined the Navy in 1943. He continued his football prowess at Bainbridge, Fleet City, and Samson Naval Stations, and upon his return, passed up his senior year to play for John Sutherland and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Owner Art Rooney told others, including his nephew Bill Fraley, that Charlie was the toughest football player he ever saw. They still talk about the collision on an opening kickoff between Charlie Mihalik and Leon Hart. It was Hart who was carted off the field. He was a professional fast pitch softball player, considered the fastest pitcher in the league. He was a head coach at North Catholic High School and was inducted into the Duquesne Hall of Fame in 1975. Representing the late Charlie Mihalik is his daughter, Sharon Mihalik Fuller. <coughs> I'm so happy and proud to accept this award on behalf of my father, Chuck Mihalik. Special thanks goes to Ray Bergman for nominating my father and for being so helpful and supportive through this whole process. I'd also like to express my appreciation to my Uncle Bill Fralick for the numerous phone calls between Colorado and uh, Pittsburgh to, first of all, trying to explain the game of football to me. Our last phone call, um, I said, Uncle Bill, I just read that Dad was one of the best nose guards. Now, I know what a mouth guard is, that protects your mouth, but how could he, what's the deal with the nose guard? And he was very nice and didn't laugh until he hung the phone up, but he explained that a nose guard is a position, it's not a device. Um, <clears throat> my dad was nicknamed Iron Man on the field, but he was more of a gentle giant off the field. Um, three things were the most important to my father. First, family. Second, a work ethic, strong work ethic. And third, sports. He played for the Steelers during the mid-40s to the early 50s. He played when there was no TV coverage, no big salaries. He played with no face mask, minimal protective gear. He played with a broken arm, three times with a broken nose, an inflamed appendix, and a concussion. He played for the pure love of the game. They all did back then, as well as today. I have a news clipping in the scrapbooks that I put together that my mother had saved in a box. And there was this um, rectangular piece from the Pittsburgh uh, paper, and it had a row all the Steelers in their gear, helmets and everything, and they all had these long, you know, push brooms that the janitors use. And in unison, they are clearing the snow off of Forbes Field so the game could begin. Now, I don't know a lot about sports, but I haven't seen that recently. Um, <laughs> doing doing that. Um, about 15 years ago, I read a book by Art Donovan, if any of you were familiar with him, called Fatso. And he played around the time my father did, maybe into the 50s more. And he said it was a whole different ball game back then. In his day, if a player was knocked out, the guy would come to maybe seconds, maybe minutes afterwards, and the coach or the trainer would be hovering over him. And the coach would hold his hand up with five fingers. And he would say, son, how many fingers do you see? And the guy would say, one, seven, you know, two, you're a good to go guy back in the game, and off he went. Um, I remember at home, my father's favorite place was sitting in the kitchen with a black coffee in one hand and a Lucky Strike cigarette in the other hand, face to face with a little 12 inch black and white TV. We only got, I think, three to five channels in those days. This was years ago, but he would sit there 
turning, 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 trying to find any type of sports program. I truly believe in heaven, I always have, and I know that part of my father's heaven is sitting in his own lounge chair, and he is looking up at the largest flat screen color TV <laughs> with this magical channel called ESPN. <laughs> I also know tonight that he is looking down and he's feeling humbled by this award. Not deserving, but humbled. I know that he's happy to see all four of his children here. Myself, my sisters Joan, Marcy, my brother Chucky, his sister Doc Fralick, two of his six grandchildren, um, other relatives and friends at this banquet. He would be so humbled. In conclusion, I would like to thank the Western Chapter from the bottom of my heart for honoring his sports career. And would now like to give the award uh, to my brother, Charles Joseph Mihalik Jr. for safekeeping. Thank you.